Yeah, we'll do the bronchoscopy and first. And then we do the, uh, put the ports in and take a look yeah. around, make sure we can do the surgery. And then if we can, we'll go ahead and do the uh, right lower lobe and right middle lobe. Okay. You know, pericardium, uh, and then the sort of central compartment of the chest called the mediastinum. Uh, once I did all of that, I did see that the tumor basically was, you know, basically growing into the uh, pericardium, which is a heart sac, oh, yeah, yeah. and then also down into the uh, the atrium or the left atrium, which is where the the veins oh, come God. off of oh, the heart uh, into the uh, you know, lower lobe or the lung. Mm -hmm. So in order to remove it, we would have to essentially have to take part of the atrium off, uh, and then there was also some deep. Uh, invasion into the mediastinum, into the chest area. So, and when I tried to move it, it kind of moved with it. So that kind of tells me that it's kind of invaded deep into the mediastinum. Uh, so I think the best strategy is to give her some, you know, pre-treatment like chemo radiation okay. to see if we can shrink it down. Uh, and then there is a possibility that you know we could come back later and, and try to remove it at a different time. But today, I, I can't get it out today. It's just too deep into the pericardium and into the chest area, you know, for me to be able to take it out safely. Okay. So, um, so will be a second surgery? Uh, maybe. It's not, you know, sometimes you know, when they get one, chemo, another <coughs> perhaps it depends on how well she responds to the uh, chemo radiation. radiation. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to recommend that she gets chemo radiation. Uh, to try to shrink this, uh, and then maybe we can come back and try again to see if we can okay, so take it out. We're not going to start the chemo radiation? Uh, probably in a couple weeks. Okay. Can, but yeah, because we just have uh, small incisions, so she should heal pretty quickly from that and should be able to start in a couple weeks. Okay. Yeah, so we'll so now there are two more swiss removed? Still there. Uh, they're still there, yeah, they're still there. Yeah, it's, one, it's one big tumor, you know, this involving the right lower lobe. especially your arms and your upper body, move nice, easy, and slow. Okay. So that way we don't twerk anything like, so let pain be your guide. If you do just, if you do surgery versus surgery, uh, chemotherapy and radiation, they work just as well. The problem with trying to do, you've just had sort of a surgery, heart surgery. Mm -hmm. So your body's healing up right now. Mm -hmm. yeah, the way it heals up is creating scars. 
just like it does on your skin. When we do radiation, it also creates some scars in that area. So the worst thing that could happen is that they could go in, try to remove it again, and say, we can't take it out. But in that case then, the timing is all messed up. So we do five weeks of radiation instead of six. Then you wait six weeks. They do surgery. If they go in and say, oh, it's too much scar, we can't take it out. Then you didn't even get the complete radiation treatment. And there's, we can't do anymore. Yeah. Does it make sense? So if there's a lot of scars. Yes. Well, you've had since when you had surgery. Now your, it's going to create some scars on the inside, uh -huh. and radiation will do the same. Create some scars. And that's how your body heals up from anything. And so I think that that uh, uh, it would be challenging for them to do that. Uh, and I'm worried that if there is no problem with them. In general, I don't have a problem with them trying to do surgery. The problem is that you don't get a full course of radiation. I can draw on this. It's not best. Mm -hmm. um, so, we talked about doing is six weeks of radiation and chemotherapy. Um, if you have, if, and that's, and then you're, that's, you're done. It's complete, complete treatment, full curative treatment. If, um, if they wanted to do try surgery afterwards, you would have about five weeks, which is not a complete curative treatment. Then you have a break, and then surgery. We do this, but in people who haven't had That is the pleura. Oh, the pleura. Oh, okay. So the actual pleura, which is the lining around the lung, was negative. The lymph nodes yeah, are positive. <clears throat> and um, the right lower lobe, that, that showed the positive adenocarcinoma. Um, and then we also looked at the different genetic testing in the PDL1. PDL1 is a mutation that we look at to determine if immunotherapy, which is not really something we have to think about right now because of her staging. Okay? But just to kind of tell you so that I got you up to speed with all your information. So it's final, it's 3B. Yes, 3B. So there's a 3A also? Yeah, so 3A. So, so she's worse than that, right? Um, 3B is still um, curative. Okay. You can st we're, we would still do definitive radiation. <laughs> What is good is it's enhanced the radiation because those drugs are radiosensitive. Okay, so the chemotherapy will be at lower doses than you would get if you were just getting that alone. Okay, so the real um, treatment when you're getting the two together is the radiation. The chemo is there to make it work harder.
there for a second and see if you have any questions. <laughs>
and the lymph nodes, if the lymph nodes in the lung, they call it M1, so more close to the So you have a, uh, for lymph node statue, you have N2, move from, uh, it's in the middle. And your tumor also invade towards the middle. That's also off stage. These two things make this, this cancer not stage 2 anymore. It's actually stage 3B. Stage 3B just once, once, one status below stage four. So it would call the local name at once.
Here now. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you.